Well, hi, everybody. Good morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here. It is just after 9 o'clock in the morning, and here's the latest that we have on our winter storm slash blizzard. Now, as we look at things right now, you can see the blizzard warning that's in the red shaded counties, basically from as far north as Loop Garfield and Wheeler counties, all the way down to the McCook and Trenton areas in southwest Nebraska, down into Phillipsburg, Kansas there, Kearney, Lexington, Broken Bow, or Loop City, all included Holdridge, Elwood, uh, Cambridge, all included in this blizzard warning. It will go until the noon hour today. Once we pass the noon hour, conditions are expected to get a little bit better. In fact, they're already getting a little better compared to earlier. Not great yet, but better. And as things improve a little bit, the visibility starts to improve, the snow lightens up. These will be downgraded to a winter storm warning. Now we have other counties already in a winter storm warning in pink. These are basically the areas where we are seeing, and as, we, uh, as I'm talking here, we get a new update here. I'm going to explain that in just a bit here. But as I'm talking here, a winter storm warning, uh, that's the area where I'm expecting the heaviest snowfall totals. We've already seen totals up to around three to five inches. We may see an additional couple of inches on top of that here. And uh, so we could see totals as high as 10 inches, but I think more in the four to eight inch range. Now, winter weather advisory, and you saw it was just expanded east to include places like Lincoln, Beatrice, Seward, Crete, and Fairbury, as well as the Wahoo and Fremont areas. I'm going to look that up right now, so I apologize. I'm doing this on the go as this is just updating. Uh, that will go until 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, central time here. So the winter weather advisory, basically this means that we're seeing that rain changing over to snow as we speak. And uh, we're, so we're seeing a little bit of a wintry mix of freezing rain and ice. Not only that, maybe a little bit of light accumulation of snowfall as well here. So uh, so let me look at the latest on that for the weather service at least here just to get the latest numbers. And again, I'm thinking probably an inch or two or less of snow. I don't think we'll see an overly heavy snow in those locations. Uh, again, I think this is the bigger concern is going to be that the slick conditions out there. Of course, we had a lot of rain over the last 24 plus hours. And as things are freezing, Slick conditions, icy conditions. We've experienced it here in the Tri-Cities. They're starting to experience it farther east. But that winter weather advisory for eastern Nebraska going until 6 o'clock this morning. Uh, also out west, the winter weather advisory going until 6 o'clock in the morning. And the winter storm warnings up into the northwest going until 6, 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. The winter storm warnings and winter weather advisories in the middle part of the state. And that does include those counties that are currently in a blizzard warning that will be downgraded here uh, in the uh, next couple of hours here at noon. That will go until midnight tonight. So it doesn't go quite as long in the middle part of the state. Basically, if you're under the Hastings National Weather Service Office County Warning Area, you're only going till the midnight hour. If you're under the Omaha or the North Platte areas, you're going until 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. Let's look at the latest here with our satellite and radar. And again, over the past hour or so, I've noticed that things have lightened up a little bit. It's not great yet. There's still very poor visibility, especially in that swath from around O'Neill to Broken Bow Ward. Loop City to the Lexington area down towards McCook, Trenton in southwest Nebraska. Meanwhile, it's lightened up a little bit in Kearney after seeing some whiteout conditions earlier. Grand Island and Hastings, it hasn't been too bad, but it is very slick out there due to those uh, icy conditions. So on top of what we've already had, we could see an additional uh, maybe one to four inches of snowfall in some spots. Some of the heavy snows where we have that band ongoing. Here in the Hastings Grand Island area, I think we're only going to end out with about one to two inches of snow at most. Kearney, you've already seen several inches, maybe another inch of snow. Farther east, maybe one to two inches at most. I'm not expecting heavy snows in those locations. So some of the heavy, heaviest areas may pick up around four to eight inches when it's all said and done. On top of that, your temperatures out there haven't been going nowhere but down really for the most part today and they'll kind of stay steady or drop and then drop a little bit more tonight tomorrow's temperatures will struggle to warm much at all and you know, with strong winds continuing tomorrow wind chills will be down there in the single digits above and below zero well, let's look at the uh, latest in the uh, forecast here and again uh, the, the snow is going to start to die down or lighten up as we head towards this afternoon and the system then clears out of here late in the afternoon into this evening, kind of lingering that snow up north this evening. Uh, still some strong winds tonight, so blowing snow could still be a problem. Maybe some periods of very light snow overnight and even into tomorrow morning. It's going to take a little while, but eventually we might try to get a little sunshine later in the day tomorrow. The winds staying strong, they will start to die down tomorrow night and that's going to allow temperatures to plummet tomorrow night. So we showed you the temperatures out there for the next couple of days. How about the next several days, seven-day forecast? We'll start with the first three days. Again, very windy today. Blizzard to near blizzard conditions, although things will start to lighten up a little bit this afternoon. Tonight, just a little blowing snow. The snow will be winding down, but maybe some blowing snow tomorrow. 
Not much of a warm-up out there. Windy, you get a little sun in the afternoon. Very cold tomorrow night, down to one degree. The weekend, we try to warm it up a little bit, especially towards Sunday. It does become breezier on Sunday. And then here comes another Arctic front, bringing a slight chance of snow there late Monday into Monday night. That's New Year's Eve evening. And uh, the winds are going to get strong again, and the temperatures will plummet. Look at Mon or Tuesday morning. That's New Year's Day morning. Zero degrees with a high only in the teens, low to mid-teens. It's going to be very cold out there for New Year's Day. Now, the good news is it's temporary cold. It gets cold again down to 2 degrees Wednesday morning. But we start to recover Wednesday, 27 degrees. And trends are that we're going to continue to warm things up towards the end of next week. We might even get close to 40 again down the road here. Now, temperatures could be impacted by how much snow you have on the ground with this, this current system and the one that's coming in early next week here. But uh, not a lot of warmth in that forecast. And again, the big issues today are the uh, conditions that we have ongoing right now. So here's what we're looking at again. The forecast has changed a lot. Of course, many of you already know it. We have shifted that main snow band eastward into central Nebraska. Four to eight inches is kind of your highest amounts that we're looking at. Whiteout conditions certainly still possible, although the conditions will get better improve a little bit through the afternoon hours. The blizzard conditions won't be as likely this afternoon. Travel not advised, especially this morning, even into this afternoon, still not going to be great out there. Again, even if you didn't get blizzard conditions, icy conditions are still going on. And of course, keep in mind that even as the snow ends tonight, winds are going to remain fairly strong. So some light blowing snow and some reduction in visibility is still possible. So there you go. There is your latest forecast. Again, this is a 9 o'clock, 9 a.m. Thursday forecast. So if you're looking for one later on in the day, we'll try to get one posted a little bit later on here. Otherwise, of course, you can download our local for weather app for some updates on the forecast as well. I want to appreciate or thank you all and appreciate you for watching. Keep it tuned to a local for and we'll have our next news show at 1130 programming as well. We'll have a live uh, interview from our live uh, segment from Kit Conninger out in the field. I believe he's going to be out in Buffalo County today at 1130 reporting on the latest. So thank you all for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day and stay safe out there. Bye.